I get asked quite often, what's a good beginner goggle for getting started in FPV? And it usually leads into a long drawn out discussion on price point, what you're trying to do, everything like that. And it's not really a cut and dry answer. However, I'm hoping to change that with this video. Hey, welcome back. I'm TJ. Today we're talking Beta FPV VR02 FPV goggles. So with this, in my mind, I'm thinking beginners. I'm thinking friends at the field that want to ride along while I'm flying. And then I'm also thinking STEM. So we have a lot of friends that are in STEM, a lot of teachers, a lot of educators that really want to implement drones into the curriculums. And while they're doing it and they're doing it well, you know, this product may actually make that a lot easier. So we're gonna dive into it. I've got a new camera set up today, this one right here, that hopefully it's gonna give us a top-down perspective and make things a whole lot easier on me while we go through this. So let's pop open the box and take a look at it. And first off the box, a lot of people actually do like seeing the box. So there's not a lot of things on it. You have social media, QR codes on the side, branding on one side, and then this nice picture on the front. So VR2 FPV goggles, Pop the box open and it is nice and sleek. So not much to it. Pull the lid off. And then the goggles. I really do like how they design this. There's not much to it. It's very sleek. You know, for a beginner, for kids, we don't want a lot of buttons and frills and things that they can really poke around and break. And this does a good job on exactly that. So you got, you know, your, your head strap connections here, but you'll notice there, there's nothing for a DVR. There's no antenna connectors. There's, there's literally nothing on this goggle other than on this side here, you have your power switch your channel and band switches, and then this S button in the middle, which we're gonna dive into that more here shortly. But it's a very, 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 very simplistic design, and I like it. So with the goggles, again, you turn your switch on here. Now I do have a little quad here that we're gonna plug in just for testing purposes. Again, there's no DVR, so I'm gonna be holding this up in front of the camera just so you can see what it actually looks like in the screen. So as we dive into the screen here, we can press the channel band buttons, but if we tap the S button, we get this pretty nifty screen. And what this does is actually gonna show us kinda how our channel lineup looks. So we tapped it once and we got this screen that doesn't really give us any information. You have your bands vertically, you have your channels horizontally, and then that band or the, the bar kinda at the top is kinda flashing a little bit. Maybe I put a thing on the screen to help you see it a little bit better. Uh, but it actually tells you signal strength. So we're holding the S button down now. It scrolls through all the channels really quick and then it finds one. Now, one thing with the search function like this, I've always been a really, well, kind of an opponent to search functions on goggles purely because they, they work, but they don't really work. It, it, sometimes they, it would get you close and you wouldn't find out you were close until you try to fly. And then it would break up and you'd have a lot of trouble and you'd crash because obviously if you can't see where you're going, you can't fly the drone. So search functions would get you close, but they wouldn't quite get you there. Sometimes they would, a lot of times they wouldn't. With this one, what it does is it shows you the map. And what the map is, is it really breaks it down and it says, you know, okay, if it's green, there's nothing there. Like that's, that's an open channel at, at green, green, green means go. If you want to fly, you can turn it on a green channel, put your quad on that green channel and you should be good to go. If it's yellow, which I don't see any yellow there. It means somebody is actually occupying that channel, but the drone's probably not close to you, or there's a lot of interference on that channel. Either case, you don't want to use that channel. And the other ones are red. Red just means it's occupied. So that means somebody is physically on that channel for some reason. It doesn't necessarily have to be an FPV quad. As you can see here, there are, what, three, four, four, not including the white one, that are lit up. Those means that either the channel that this is on is bleeding into those other channels. That's where the close comes into play. So that is fully on where it's like, okay, we're almost on the channel. So it's gonna say that channel is occupied. It might not give us the signal strength 
than our actual channel does. And that's one thing I do like about this goggle is the search function seems to be better than most. So the bar that you're seeing at the top, it actually tells you the signal strength that you have. So if we skip down through these channels, you see the bar drops down really, really low. That means we just went to a channel that does not have anything on it. Again, nothing on it, nothing on it. Now we have a really high signal strength there. However, that's on band B. So that's not the one that actually lands us on. If we search again and it scrolls through, it's gonna actively put us back on band F. So F1, band F, channel one. And that's what this quad is actually set on. So I've been testing this pretty extensively and it is like 99.9% .9 accurate on getting on that channel. But again, I'm by myself. Nobody else has anything plugged around, plugged, plugged in. And while I am binding this up to the goggle, I say binding, but it's not really binding. While I am finding the channel to this quad, I have it really close to the goggles. You know, the closer it is like this, I mean, I'm not gonna hold it like that, but the closer it is to the goggles, the more accurate it's going to be. So that's a really cool feature that's really good for people wanting to learn because it's less work having to find the channel, put the, on the right channel and go that route. Now, with all of that said, sorry, this is kind of long. So now with all of the search functions talked about, everything like that, one thing I do want to touch on is when you get your quad, learn how to adjust the VTX bands and channels yourself, because that's a, a skill that you are going to need to learn if you're flying with other people. But what it's going to do is if you adjust this like I did for channel F1, now we know for a fact this drone is on F1. So if our search function lands us on something else, now we know we can fine tune it and actually put it on the actual channel this quad is running on. So. I'll get off my soapbox now. Learn to adjust your VTX channels on your quad. These goggles so far are pretty awesome. So let's keep digging through the box to see what else we have. So once we pull out the plastic, we have the head strap, a little card that's just social media knowledge base, which Beta FPV does have a pretty decent knowledge base. And that's all that is actually in there. But the head strap, actually, one thing I realized, there's no charging cable. So it does not come with a USB-C cable. It's not a make or break. Nowadays, most people have USB cables laying around from so many products that we buy. But you will need a USB-C cable to plug into your goggles to charge them. Now, speaking of charging, it does have a 3.7 volt battery in it. So it's a 1S battery, 2000 milliamp. And they say you get about two hours on actual use time out of this. I haven't used it myself all the way through a full charge yet. So I can't comment on that. But what I can comment on is it's a USB-C port to charge it. I have a really big uh, battery bank that I can put in my pocket and I can run a USB cable up to this. And I would fully assume that that battery is going to charge these and if not charge them at least keep power to it while i use it if it's trying to go dead while i'm flying so let's just put the head strap on just to see kind of how it looks here one thing i would like to see because personally i don't like the three prong head strap or whatever you call it I just like the regular ones like Fat Sharks, you know, even my DJI goggles I actually use the, the single single head strap around. So I don't much care for the three prong head strap. Now my kids, they like it because it helps hold it up on their little tiny noggins. All right, so with all of that out of the way, the goggles, they're great. I love them. They work really, really well. Been flying them around the shop, around the house, and they work exactly as intended. The search function on these works better than most. I haven't seen anything else really do as good as the search function on this. Very intuitive, very clean design. I can throw them on my bag without having to worry about antennas breaking off or taking antennas off or putting antennas on. Again, price point for $50, it's almost an impulse buy. So otherwise, Beta FPV, VR02 FPV goggle, it's definitely a winner here. We're gonna be using these 
you know, I'm going to be recommending these for STEM, for beginners, for anybody wanting to get in the hobby. And my kids are going to be using these to ride along. And hopefully one of these days they're going to learn how to fly. So otherwise, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button, get notifications rolling in. Leave me a comment. Now for the advanced kit too, I've had a lot of people asking about that. I do have the, well, actually that the quad we were just looking at, that's the updated quad. Obviously now I have the updated goggles. I'm just waiting on the light radio, what SE2, light radio 2 SE, whatever the new one is. That's the only thing I'm lacking for the new updated kit. So as soon as that arrives, I promise we will start getting those tutorial videos out for everybody that's asking for them. So guys, thank you so much for all the support and we'll catch you on the next one.